Hey, what's going on everybody? This is you and I, I thank you guys for being here with me again as I bring forth another video that could possibly help you during your Forex trading journey. All right, I want to thank all of you for being here with me tonight. Those of you who have uh, constantly watched my videos, those of you who are loyal subscribers, viewers, those near and far, those who just happen upon my videos or YouTube channel. Thank you so much. All right, I want to um, share something with you guys because, um, as you know, I'm, I'm very consistent with what I do. All right, and you guys will always find me here making videos. Um, you know, it's 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 a part of the norm around here. It's just what I do. You know, I receive a lot of emails, and the amount of emails that I receive requesting help with entry is by far astounding all right um, the amount of people who are really struggling with entry it's 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 very 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 baffling I mean I, I cannot sometimes believe how many people are struggling with that um, I want you guys to know if this message if, if if I'm talking to you right now if, if you're one of those who are struggling with how to enter in on a market pay close attention to this video all right because this video might it might just help you see the other side and make a difference with your trading all right um, a lot of people I'm, well, I'm going to share with you guys one of the main reasons why so many people so many people have issues with entry I'm gonna tell you why the reason being is that well there there are a couple reasons why but if you are not entering in on a market based off of a closed candle you are doomed if you're just entering in on a market as that candle is going up and down just moving up and down you know there's no telling where that candle is going to end up all right you're trading on a daily chart and you see that here it is you don't even know the news is out and you see that there's a candle that appears to be engulfing but you happen to have not checked the news or you just open up your charts and you just got in you just start looking and you saw oh wow it's a engulfing candle the candle haven't hasn't yet closed but you got in what do you think is going to happen if you're getting it on an engulfing candle let's say positively what do you think is possible to happen if you're getting it on an engulfing candle what appears to be an engulfing candle that hasn't yet closed and in fact might have six to eight hours left before it closes and you're getting in based off the way the candle looks right now <laughs> what do you think is going to happen what do you think could possibly happen I'm going to tell you and it's very 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 obvious because you're getting in during news what appears to be an engulfing candle could simply be because of the momentum or volatility that's in a market based on the news there's a possibility that once the dust settles the market resumes back to normal the pip spreads tighten back up because they they widen during the during the volatile uh, news release what do you think is going to happen the market may very well go back to where it was here you are 
you got in all the way down here because you saw a big candle shooting down you got in here once the news is done 10 15 minutes later the market pulls back go right back to where it was before the mark before the news came out pulls you out of the market that's a very simple that's a, a very common mistake that a lot of people they make another reason why same 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 thing another example would be you're you're just getting into the market because you see that a candle with the way it appears while it's open and not closed it appears that it's it's it has formed a certain bias in the market but without that candle being closed there's no bias there's only a potential but yes the market is is never a hundred percent so it's just a risk that you take but why trade based on something that has no has no validity yet base your 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 bias off of a closed candle if I want to get in on an on an engulfing candle I would rather get in once that candle closes and show me the momentum instead of getting in just because it appears to be an engulfing at present and by the time the day closes it reverses yes you would be getting in if the market was pushing down and you saw that there was an engulfing candle at present you chose to get in here so you're you're thinking that well I'm getting in I'm getting in early the market keeps going down that's what you're hoping so while you're expecting to get in down here if you're getting in following my discipline following what I tell you when to get in as long as you're getting in when the first two conditions are met it doesn't really matter about the third but as long as you're getting in after the first two conditions are met you can get in when it closes you're still gonna win you know you're still at the forefront of the of the move I'll say I'm not gonna say you're still gonna win the market at I retract that statement the market can do whatever but if the market was to go in your favor respecting that engulfing candle I have to say that you're you're still at the forefront you don't need to rush the market you don't need to rush it and get in just because it's showing an engulfing candle or any type of setup that it might appear while the market is while the candle is still moving about let that candle close first and then you base it off of that you'll be happy that you did you'll you'll then start to make the money that you're constantly losing you know it's it's better to be able to trade It's better to take a little bit than to lose it all it's better to 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 uh, wait and, and trade when you have a higher probability than to you know trade early and, and trade into a risk a risky situation that's the best thing I could tell you guys like it's, it's one of the one of the main reasons why people they're constantly contacting me about hey I need help with entry you need help with entry come on over come on over I'm, I'm gonna show you this the so darn easy way to enter the market it's called the perfect entry training perfect entry strategy I'm gonna show you that all right in fact in fact all of my all of my students currently right now they have access to that it's a three it's a three part it's a three part series that I have inside our members area that you can you can watch and you can master that very 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 simple very simple three conditions two very critical very simple it's time for you guys to stop struggling don't struggle with entering in on the market you know we've all you know worked very hard to get our accounts where they are there's no need to work hard at it and then lose it all just because you see that you're anxious to get into the market let the market do what it's going to do and then you get into the market when the big boys show you their hand all right just like in spades 
You let your opponent show their hand. You let them show their hand so you can play off of it. Without that, you're just you're going in blindly. You don't know what's going on. You do not know what's going on. So I, I hope that you know those of you who are constantly struggling with that. You know I, I want you guys to learn a better way of trading. You know when when you learn how to get into the market with ease and not rushing yourself, it's going to open up so many doors for you. You're going to be able to see things much clearly. You know, a lot of my students there, you know, it's one thing that they compliment me on. Like, you know, I, I can see things much clearly now. You know, when you, when you learn to take away all the stress and all the pressure behind just trading itself, when you make things simple, you don't have to listen to all the stuff that you've been taught or you've heard and learned. You learn to unlearn that stuff. You have to unlearn that stuff. Is doing you a disservice has no value. Do not allow do not allow that stuff to have merit. It has no merit, it has no value. Do you have to distinguish one from the other? The fictions, the fiction from the facts. Alright? You have to learn that. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I can't teach everyone that. I can't. But I could. But first it takes you to make that first, take that first step. So I want you guys to, um, to just take this message to heart. Uh, understand that if you're struggling with entry, we're all at the same place. We open about charts. You have two options to trade. We're this close to becoming very successful. Why do some people choose the other option? It's because they don't know when to choose the option. They don't know how to read the charts. It's time for you to learn how to read the charts. All right? You guys, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope this message has come across as being positive and helpful. You guys make sure you have a fantastic night. Peace.